Hello, I'm MPX Slicker, and welcome back to episode 291 of my Minecraft Xbox Update Adventures Let's Play. This is a Let's Play where I've been playing through the various updates that have come out for Minecraft on the console, building stuff, killing stuff, and of course, destroying stuff. And in today's episode, I actually wanted to uh, kind of do something I haven't done in a very long time, and just follow on immediately from uh, the last part in terms of what I'm building, because I wanted to work on the wheat farm even more, because I want to have this crazy layered concept, and I really like how it's going so far. Look at this thing, I think it looks kind of wacky from the distance, and although it's never going to be a replacement for the sugarcane farm or even you know equals the sugarcane farm it is something that I wanted to get going because I need a lot of wheat at some point in the future and I figured why not get that prepared right now that's uh, a useful thing to do in Minecraft and it's what we're doing today so uh, yeah hopefully you'd all enjoy it but with that said let me get straight into this and just admit very at the very very start here I have not played really any Minecraft survival since last week I played maybe 15 minutes for some QA Saturday gameplay and then maybe five minutes before this episode just to you know like get some dirt and get some seeds to prepare for it but besides that I have not really played any since last week and the reason for that in case you're curious like that's a random thing to bring up to a cat is because uh you know i was like kind of busy at first and then i was working on other like you know creative video stuff and then the brand new mini game came out so also do you see that you can place blocks like basically on yourself like, okay but anyway like i was saying yeah <laughs> but yeah that's uh, that's the reasoning for it now you know and uh, just in case like i'm super rusty and i forget like oh yeah so uh this this whole game's about gliding, right? That's that's what you do. You you glide and then you you, you you place these dirt resources so you can get more gliding speed. That makes a lot of sense. So just just in case I make a giant mistake or something like that, we'll blame it on the fact that I haven't played too much survival this past week. Because honestly, um I've said this before, but like Minecraft is one of the games that we'll just like kind of play in the evening as a chill it's it's a really chill uh, you know game experience, like either to play just by itself to like entirely think about very little. Or, you know, when you listen to a you, you can listen to a podcast, play some Minecraft, or a Toy Cat video, like I think I've said before oh no people said it to me before and then i've started saying it and now people have started doing it and apparently enjoying it so yeah i, I someone told me a thing and i told other people the thing and people enjoyed the thing isn't that wonderful and isn't that honestly a big part of the internet like isn't that why people share videos in general i mean i, I honestly you know let's 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 make an admission right here that uh, perhaps you shouldn't as a youtuber but i i actually rarely share videos on like any social media like you, you might even spot on my own like twitter or anything like that or uh, on my facebook or anything like that and that's just because like i i, I rarely am at the point where i, I like videos so much and i'm like everyone has to see this because I, I have this like big thing in my head of like i don't really want anything to, uh, m if, if, if there's anything that like really matters to me i assume it's not important to most people and i think there's like an interesting you know on the one hand that sounds like it's a big uh you know like ah negative thing but on the other hand i think it really is like one of those um I feel like it's actually, uh, like, in, in some ways, like, indicative of a good thing, because that, you, you might notice, like, most of the videos I make on YouTube are, like, fairly, you know, in, in terms of the Minecraft scene, like, fairly different to what most people go for, uh, because, you know, most people just be like, oh, yeah, this is what other people are doing, let's do that, and therefore, not sharing videos is indicative of a good thing, maybe. That that was my first theory. But yeah, I guess you've been curious as to what I've been up to this past week, because that's a thing we talk about here. Um, I actually have been, oh, we have to jump down, aren't we? Um, I've actually been really, really, um, besides focused on the Glebony game, uh, I've been doing a lot of, like, miniature house stuff, really. Like, uh, I, this, I know this is weird, and I know, like, I, I, it shouldn't take me so long to adjust, but there's, like, lots of tiny bits about, like, you know, having my own house that I have to, like, slowly get used to. Like, ah, oh, well, I, I have to, like, make sure that, because, um, they, they only empty my bins every other couple of weeks, so I've got to be, like, a thousand percent certain that, like, yes, everything I humanly can fit in there is in there because there's this there's this magic service. I mean, you're actually paying for it, so it's not a magic service. But you know, there's this magic service that you don't directly pay for where people just take stuff away from your house, right? So you gotta make the most of it and you gotta like, guarantee that's filled every week and you know you gotta do your recycling too because otherwise people hate you and you're killing the environment yeah, there's like a billion things like that but there's also in terms of like oh yeah well i'm responsible for this 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 now i feel i do that also if you just leave a house by itself it just gets dirty i i, I know this is like this shouldn't be so shocking to me but like there's just random dust and dirt and marks all over my walls and i'm like ah oh, i guess that just happens so I've got to, like, you know, work on the responsibilities to clean that stuff. It's it's interesting when, like, lots of responsibilities appear in your life. But I think in the case of, like, having a house, totally worth it. The responsibilities are, like, adding up and it, it's becoming a worthwhile thing. I mean, it's probably a bad use of my time. You know, like, I could be making videos, but instead I'm, you know, cleaning the pipes in my bathroom or something. But, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a little satisfying, at least the first few times you do it. And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of liking it. Again, even if it's a, a poor use of time, it's still, like, a good kind of soul thing of, like, ah, yeah, look at me. I'm, like, a... A real adult with a house and stuff. So yeah, that feels um, kind of stuff. Uh, so, so, sorry, kind of cool. And that is uh, the the house stuff of which I speak. I always just like kind of abbreviate it down to house stuff because I think this you know this is something I feel like everyone should do when you're talking about a subject you know people aren't necessarily into um, because 
sometimes if you like, oh yeah, so uh, I'm watching the, uh, the the club cup or whatever, you know, I'm going to make up some random, you know, like a uh, sports title thing, but it's a, it's a, a sport most people don't care about, and B, you know the sport isn't something the person's into. I mean, if you want to talk about something like that, I feel like it's like your responsibility to like kind of break it down and maybe make it interesting, right? Because I feel like anything can be made interesting if you like, you know, you tailor it to the right person. Like, oh yeah, well, if you're speaking to Toy Cat and you're trying to explain any sport and not make him bored and, you know, re re regret having this conversation, maybe you could link it into like, oh yeah, and it's kind of like a video game. They're trying to like min-max their, you know, their, 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 their muscles, I guess that'd be. I don't know, I'm like, I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to find some video game analogy in the real sports world. But, you know, then, then you can like grab my interest in it that way. Whereas if you're just like, oh yeah, and uh, I'm not sure or if uh, you know Mayweather's having the best season right now in his soccer life, and you know I'm, I'm, I'm making up stuff right now. I, I bet those are real people. But uh, you know, if, if you just tried to tell me that, and you're like, oh yeah, he's just really not on form this week. I reckon the manager's the one to blame, and you know, then then, then you're probably gonna have a not very interesting thing. And maybe, and if that's fine with you, I think that's a cool thing to do. But that's just like a life lesson I think I learned at one point. That is like, you know what? If you're gonna discuss stuff that you, every you, you know the person finds uninteresting, you like you know you try and you angle it, you try and make it in a way, or preferably you don't talk about it with them. But you know presumably that's not an option if you're doing it. Like I I think it's actually kind of cool to have conversations about these weird out there things, but you have to just not treat it like another conversation. Boom, life lesson of Toy Cat. While I was just talking about what I've been up to this week, because house stuff. If I if I if I try and say like oh yeah, do you want to talk about um. Do you want to talk about like the best types of rags there are? Because I I really find that you know if you switch to this plan, that, you know, wait wait actually another one like oh yeah so uh, I really find switching your energy provider is a good way to make sure you get the maximum savings. And most of you are going to be like you know what Toy Cat that is like that it, I I care about that so little I can't even describe it right. And that's that's an entirely okay thing because it's a very boring thing unless you have been through that thing yourself. And actually you know I think that's why like um there's a common thing right where like parents. Can only, you know, they, they stop getting along quite as well with people who aren't parents and, you know, they're single friends, I guess you'd call it. Oh, oh sorry, with, and relationship, uh, couples with uh, their single friends. Because, like, you slowly run out of things to, like, relate to on the, like, day-to-day -day life thing. Like, oh, yeah, so, uh, kind of sucked today. I, I woke up really late. But fortunately, you know, my husband or kids were there to try. You know, I'm just making up stuff about the kids. But, you know, as, as your life, you know, rapidly diverges, you become less interesting and the same as these people. And you can fix that, or you can pretend it's not there. I'm just saying, those are your options, and uh, I, it, what I'm saying here is I want to talk about my pipes, and let's do it in great detail, shall we? But no, with that, um, with that said, there's something else I actually did want to talk about this week, because, um, you know, while, while we've just placed blocks on the, the giant wheat farm, uh, I figure something that's very, very relevant to this conversation, I was thinking earlier, because I saw a sausage dog, and it was like one of those, like, genuine sausage dogs, where it was like a full-on, like, you know, it had to like jump with its body as it went along, and f you know, I, and then I thought that, and I thought, you know, I didn't, I didn't actually know this until way too late in life. So maybe there's like f two of you that don't know, but like to get dogs like that, we as humans at some point, you know, in time, like maybe 200 years ago, decided, you know, what, let's keep breeding dogs together until we create a type of dog that is this darn bizarre, and then we just made a bunch of weird dogs, and th that's why, by the way, in case you're curious. That's why um, the really good, uh, if, if you if you know anyone with a dog, they probably don't have a, uh, or at least if you're, unless you're like crazy rich or I guess wealthier than me at least. Uh, but you know, if, if you know someone with a dog, it's probably a combination of dogs. It's not, you know, a pure, let me make up a really good dog combination. It's not a pure German Shepherd or a pure, um, you know, Rottweiler. I'm, I'm just naming dogs right here. I, I, I don't honestly, I'm, I'm really not into the subject of dogs. You know, I'm gonna, <laughs> let me let me just put that right on the open here. So if I get something horribly wrong, I'm sorry. But you know, Shiba Unu or whatever else, like th those are dog breeds that people came together and made and they're really desirable. But you'll never find, you know, just like your friends or someone that have those because to get those desirable dogs, there's like a lot of effort that goes in and therefore like they're expensive dogs. And therefore, you know, no one's spending thousands on a dog unless they're really, really. Honestly, you know, let's 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 just let's just say this right now. If you're willing to spend anything above, let's say, four digits on a dog, and even then, that's really way too high. Like, if you spend, you know, if you're willing to spend four digits on a dog, I'm assuming you're crazy. Let, let me know in the comments down below if you do, and I will I will tell you why, why or how you're really crazy. But that just that just seems like a bit much, right? But my point with that, by the way, <laughs> I'm not just gonna call dog owners crazy. Don't worry, it's it's going somewhere. Um, I'm just a very distractible person, as it turns out. But uh, yeah, basically, um, so you know, that's that's why dogs cost so much because to get those really good breeds, you have to you know breed them together and deliberately get 
those specific characteristics, or as we do it nowadays, I think, you just get two dogs with those characteristics and you breed them over and over again, then you breed the puppies and you get a lot of like inbreeding and it's not actually a good diverse thing. It's just people want a, you know, Shiba Unu or people want a, uh, you know, a poodle that's a pure poodle and therefore people will pay you lots of money for it so you can spend lots of money to make it happen. And that's, there you go. There's dog breeds explained in very, very short. But the thing I find fascinating about the whole dog breed situation is the fact that like to get a more valuable dog, you basically have to like inbreed them together. It's this really weird thing where like, we've almost like worked out the genes we want in a dog and we're paying lots of money for those, which is something that would be horrifying if you did that with a human, right? Like I feel like dogs are, you know, animals are like a step below people on the human hierarchy. I think, you know, it's kind of messed, you could argue it's messed up and we shouldn't, but the, I think most humans can agree there are dogs just over there or, you know, animals down there. And then there are people, we're kind of close together. But yeah, we do this thing where we like, we put a value on like dogs being bred for this very bizarre purpose. It's like, that's a little bizarre by itself. But the thing that makes it even more bizarre to me is the fact that, um, one, actually, you know, let, let me just go over this one more time. I, I still don't understand at all why people pay like the absurd amounts that I, I know it costs for like, you know, these particularly rare, uh, you know, dog breeds. But, you know, that's not the point I'm trying to raise here. The point I am trying to raise, as we get some more seats, by the way, uh, the point I am trying to raise of all of that is like, uh, it, it's kind of wacky that we have to like go for all of this effort, take the exact same dog breeds, try and breed them together and just, you know, pray we get this expensive dog. Um, and then you, have, you also new trip before you give it out so that people can't breed from it. Which is, again, it's, it's messed up in its own way that you're like, no, the, the breeding dogs are only for me. Otherwise you'll make money from it. Which is, because you, I think you also have to sign, if they don't, you know, new trip, you do have to sign a thing saying you're not allowed to sell the puppies. I, I've heard, again, that's just my, my personal experience of it. I'm not very into dogs and I don't know why I'm talking about them so much. But yeah, basically um, it's kind of messed up because if, if you think about humans, humans are exactly the opposite. Like, um, Again, I, I mean, this is, I'm sure, some very questionable debate, but I think it's, like, generally accepted that you want to take people from, like, really far apart backgrounds, you know? You don't want to take people that are brothers and get them to, you know, make puppies, or, you know, the human version of puppies, I guess, because, basically, you know, you know that's, like, generally considered a bad thing. You, you've got lots of risks when you do that, and I think it's really interesting that with dogs, it, you know, the rules go the opposite way, or maybe in the other side of things, like, dogs are just reverse humans. You want to have dogs that look specifically like that. Or maybe, maybe it does go back the other way. Maybe people secretly do want this, the, the children that are made from the same things, and that's why that's kind of the thing like that. So, yeah, I know, I I, I was just fascinated when I realized, like, mentally, that, like, wow, yeah, dog, dogs are us. Because even, even in my own little life, like, I feel like, uh, if, if you don't know, I, I'm, I'm descended from, like, a bunch of, actually, not a bunch of immigrants. Like, I think I'm, like, half immigrated and half, like, um, British when you go up to, like, grandparent level. So, like, I don't, I don't have a clear interest in this one way or the other, right? Like, I could say, oh, yeah, it's the best thing in the world when, you, when you're all of one country, because then you're, you're all one thing and you don't feel like a weird mix or whatever. But the, the, the point I was just trying to raise with all of that is, like, if you then think back to, like, I'm, I'm sure this might be true for all of you. Maybe it's just my particular town or whatever. So if you don't know, I lived in a village adjacent to a town, which is, like, just out, well, not, it's, it's, I say just outside of London, but just outside of Greater London. And, um... But if you're talking a map, it's really not. But, but my point being is, like, I was from this, like, real random little village next to a town, next to, like, something of significance. And it's really fascinating because when you, like, look at the people who are, like, you know, there are certain people, all of the, okay, all of the terrible, let me just say it, all of the terrible people, the, the kids who, like, you know, would always have problems and were always, like, bullying people and all that sort of stuff, they were always the one that had, like, lived there for, like, ten generations or whatever. And uh, all the people that, like, you know, moved in from elsewhere, they will, at least in my experience, maybe it's just because, like, I'm that type of person, they were generally the nice ones. And maybe there's, like, some grand thing on, like, you know what? Humans are reverse dogs. We're reverse dogs in every way. And maybe we could use that to our advantage. Like, ah, well, dogs eat dog food, you see. So humans should not eat that because we are reverse dogs. You know how you have to take, like, dogs to the vet once a year to get groomed? Well, don't groom humans, because... Or don't groom them once a year. I groom them every day, except once a year because that's clearly the solution to that one. And I'm just saying, humans are reverse dogs, and I, I was mind blown with that revelation. Maybe one of you too. Or maybe you just listen to that, and you're like, Toy Cat, what did you take? Can you can you just tell me? Because I, you know, maybe, I, I'm, sure, I'm sure that's like someone's reaction to that. Because I, 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 sometimes I have a weird thought like that, where I'm like, ah, this is the sort of thought that someone would listen to and, you know, probably make themselves uh, while they have done something which would influence them in some ways. And then I realize, you know what, is that a good sign or is that a bad sign? And I realize I don't actually know. And then I move on to the next thing in my mind because I rapidly move on to stuff. Actually, oh, something else that I, um, I realized the first time this week. I need to go get some more dirt, by the way. So let's fly very slowly back. Let's use my glide skills to realize how to do this. 
fly into the gap in the water, and no, uh, we're not going to make it. <laughs> but yeah, basically, um, if, you're, if you're curious, by the way, if you're ever swimming in water and you don't want to waste your elytra wings, because it's bad use of them, uh, try gliding to the bottom of the ocean. That's usually how you can fix it. Boom, pro tips to cat in Minecraft. While well, I'm on to the next thing, which is uh, to do if they... Uh, so it, I think in America, you call it like the WebMD problem, because... I think the biggest website there is called WebMD. Uh, again, I've never seen the website WebMD. Like, it's never showed up in my Google results. Uh, my Google results, sorry. And I just don't care enough to like type it in because it's not going to be tailored for British people. Uh, but yeah, basically, uh, so th there's an equivalent thing in the UK where you type in a symptom into Google, and it usually comes up with the uh, the NHS website. Like, it's called like Living Choices or something for that particular symptom. And I had the first thing today where you know um, it's a really common experience on the internet where you type in literally any symptom of any illness. And at some point, it's going to say you've got this thing that's going to kill you, you're going to die, etc. Like, common thing, by the way. But I had that for the first time this week, and I realized, I was like, this is kind of terrifying. Like, oh yeah, well, either, you know, I, I typed in a symptom, either you're drinking too many fizzy drinks, toy cat, or you're going to die and this is your last week alive. You know, it's, it's, it's like one of those two things. Like, it literally was like, you know, bowel cancer, or stop drinking fizzy drinks, or something like that. Oh, sorry for my international viewers, carbonated beverages. But no, uh, yeah, so it was like, you know, either too many fizzy drinks, or you're going to die. And it's kind of wacky to me that one, there is such a big range, and two, um, I think it's like a really, really bad idea for them to have a website which says both those things. Because basically the website said nothing to me. Like, I, I looked up, uh, you know, again, insert symptom name here, and then all it came up with was either some, either it's nothing or it's everything. And that was entirely useless to me, but I feel like there are certain people, you know, on like, because there are going to be some people who are like, oh yeah, I'm going to read that and therefore I'm entirely fine, even though they do have the bowel cancer. And some people are going to read that and they're going to be like, well, you know, it, I, I have drunk like seven cans of Pepsi tonight, but it's probably the bowel cancer. I guess I'm dying. I'd better go straight to the doctor. And, you know, that's like not a good thing, right? So yeah, I, I, it just made me realize that if you have a website that like can tell people either they're dying or they're not, all you're going to do is like reinforce people's existing fears. What we really need, uh, this is actually a really cool thing that's being developed by Google or IBM, maybe together. Um, because you might recall there's a machine called IBM Watson. I haven't heard of this because Jeopardy isn't a UK TV show, but I know it's a really popular one in the US. So if you watch Jeopardy, they once had a machine called IBM Watson on there. And that is a machine that can genuinely tell you, like it's, a, it's meant to be like a replacement for a doctor. So you tell it everything about you, and then you tell it when you have a fresh set of symptoms, and it can work out what you have just like instantly. Because doctors, honestly, I, I don't want to... <laughs> I've made enemies with dogs people. I, sorry, I've made enemies with dog people. i made enemies with people who lived in the same place for like so long. And I'm about to make enemies with doctors too in this episode. So I'm, I'm sorry all of the above. I, do, I don't hate you really. I'm just... These are just thoughts I have. I'm just a cat on the internet. But I feel like doctors really do, like they go through all these years of medical school, which clearly makes them smarter than me, smarter than most people, right? Because, or more, more knowledgeable than most people, at the very least. But I feel like the, the percentage of time doctors get something wrong is like kind of astounding. And at first you can say, well, there's so many things it could be that you can't really blame a doctor when they get it wrong. But on the other hand, it's like, if there is, you know, if you have symptom A, B, and C, some doctors, it's mostly the really old ones, so maybe like, they just haven't been trained right, or something like that. But like a lot, of, some doctors will say, "Oh, you just need to toughen up, laddie. How about you have some painkillers, and or you know, how about you don't have painkillers? How about you just like deal with that, or something?" And it's like, how how do we have this system where, like, on the one hand, we have like you know, how you know, all, all they have to do is take your symptoms and work out you know what this could be based on your medical history. And some people will just be like, "Well, on the one hand, I could use this medical knowledge I spent, you know, is it seven years you go to medical school for obtaining? Or on the other hand, I could just decide, you know what, let's, let's just use my personal preference of he's probably fine. Because, again, if you just say to everyone, like, I could be a doctor right now, I'd probably get, like, sued or, you know, like, fired or both or, you know, like, some, you know, I, it, it wouldn't be a good idea. But I reckon if, if you put me in a doctor's surgery, a, a GP, I guess it'd be, a general practitioner surgery, and you're like, toy cat. Go, do the job, even though you don't know anything, try your best. M your best bet in every single situation is either to just go, yep, you're all fine, and again, you'll have a 99% success rate if you just tell people, you're fine, just just keep it up and come back if it gets worse. Um, or you could do the exact opposite thing, and you could say, oh, that's bad, let's give you some, some painkillers, some antibiotics, and some, what's another like general uh, drug that people use all the time? Uh, I don't know, some, some marijuana if you live in the US. 
Uh, give, give people all three of those, uh, give people all four of those things, three of those things. Uh, oh, some sleeping pills too, just for good measure. And say, so, yep, get, get back to me in a week if it gets worse. I feel like you could do either of those two things, and they're both terribly lazy attitudes, right? And you'd have a, an amazing success rate, because uh, I know it's a really common thing, at least, again, in the US, not so much here, but, like, a lot of, like, old people will just stockpile antibiotics and just give them to, like, their grandkids or whatever, being like, oh, you've got a cold, take some antibiotics, they'll probably fix it. And, you know, that's a terrible thing in itself, by the way. Pro, pro tip, look into antibiotic resistance. It's it's a terrifying truth about uh, humanity. But no, um, <laughs> staying, staying at, like, at least a little bit on the subject, you can be a terrible doctor and still be an okay doctor, and therefore we should, like... You know, we should not want that. We should we should stop that being a thing that you can be. But I don't think we have, and I don't think we will. And that's a little bit scary to know about and to hear, at least for me. So, um, yeah, my, my point today is that I'm, I'm making enemies of everyone. So, you know, if you watch YouTube videos, you're just the worst. Like, who, who even does that besides, like, me and literally half the population at this point? Yeah, that's... There we go. Now, now I'm made an enemy of literally everyone. Because I think if you're watching this video, you must watch YouTube videos, right? Because, again, I, I, well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not watching it right now, but I'm making it right now. I watch YouTube videos, and that, that's kind of important because I make them. But also, you know, like, if you're watching this, you are on YouTube. You probably watch other YouTube videos. And, uh, therefore, I'll say something offensive about that. Like, oh, yeah, YouTube's, YouTube's the worst. Although, actually, cool little fact. Uh, they rolled out the setting for, um, you know, watching at higher speeds, like 1.25x. I think on mobile now. I think I saw it on mobile, mo my mobile, which is cool. Because there are so many videos where I'm like, you know, I, because I, I, I think I've said this, I, I might have said this before, but I'm terrible if anyone sends me videos. In the same way I don't share videos, I think I said at the beginning, uh, I, I can't watch videos, like, if you send them to me. Like, if, if you try and send me a video and you tell me to watch it, I'm, I'm not going to. I, maybe I'll pretend if I really like you, but, <laughs> like, I, I, I can't do it. It's just, it is the worst it, thing in the world to me, and that's, like, a weird thing I have in my head. But just a, a little fun fact in case you want to send me a video. Don't. Just, just don't. Uh, but yeah, the uh, the point I was actually raising there was that um, so like I, whenever whenever I'm watching a video, I don't like to share it. But also when people share videos of me, it's just the worst thing in the world. Uh, but if you if you do need to watch a video, like oh yeah, this is important. We're gonna be discussing this. One point two five or one point five or sometimes even two times speed is a godsend. In fact, you know toy cat videos. Have you noticed how how slowly I talk? There's there's so many uh, you know yeah criticisms on YouTube. Like people saying oh toy cat you talk too slow. That's definitely what people say, right? And uh, I think the easy solution to it would be, was that correct? Yeah. The easy solution is just to talk a lot faster. And if you don't want me to talk faster, then you can, or you do want me to talk faster, then the two times speed option is there for you. Uh, although realistically, I think 1.25 is perfect for speech. Especially, again, if, I, if they're talking at like, you know, rapid toy cat speed, like I do. Um, <laughs> oh, there's some wheat down there. Nice. Okay, so we just grabbed some more water. We'll come back to the top. We'll place it in the other one. And then I think... We won't be done, but we'll be, like, mostly done with the farm. And it's going to feel pretty good, actually. So, yeah. Uh, speed speed options now on more parts of YouTube. Uh, it's a little bit annoying because, like, they stay locked on even when they're not. Which is a little bit weird. But still, I, still, I think it's a cool feature. And now you know it's out there. Um, don't send me videos. Because I'll hate you forever. Um, and also, I guess the thing you need to keep in mind, as well as all of that, is that dogs are reverse people. And if you ever have any, any part of your life that you're curious about, like, ah. Oh, Oh, I have, uh, you know, this symptom and I don't want to look it up online because they'll think I'm dying. Then maybe you should look up what a dog would have and do the opposite. Like, oh, yeah, well, when a dog has, has this, we give him back rubs and painkillers. You should get, you should take pain givers. Yeah, painkillers. The opposite would be like pain lifers. And you should give yourself a belly rub instead. Yep, that's, that's my official diagnosis of a toy cat. I'd be a great doctor sometime. And hopefully all of you would too. But we can't work that out for now, because I do have to be leaving you all. I hope you did all enjoy today's episode of the Minecraft Xbox Update Adventures Let's Play. Like if you liked it, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. Because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel. And I'll see you... Uh, oh, and also, I'll let you know if I am dying, or if it is just too many fizzy drinks next time. So, I'll see you all then. Bye.